Hey guys, welcome back. It's Laura with Down Home with Lemon Pie and this is our part two fall video. We are enjoying these beautiful fall colors on all of these trees. We didn't have this in Texas. It seemed they just went from green straight to brown. So we are quite loving um, being up here in Idaho and getting to see all of the beautiful trees changing colors from reds to oranges to yellows. It's just been so exciting to watch and so much fun. So if you did not see, I did a video about why we don't celebrate Halloween. And I talked about that we are celebrating Sukkot instead this year. And um, part of Sukkot, the celebration, is building a sukkah outside. So here we are working on building our sukkah. If you missed that video, I definitely recommend checking it out. I will link it below. But we are working on building our sukkah and we are kind of just using the materials we find around um, around where we are. We're in our RV and we are not experienced at suka building. Um, if you don't know what a suka is, it is basically a three-sided structure that is outdoors um, that you would use during Sukkot. And it's supposed to represent the um, when the Israelites were wandering around the desert and they would build their own shelters and God would protect them. And traditionally it should have a leafy um, roof to show how God's protection is there, but you can still see the light shining through. It's um, really neat. If you haven't, like I said, checked out that video, you should because it explains it a lot more in detail. But we are working hard trying to build one. We're using the tree branches that we're finding around. We found a cluster of trees and we're just kind of standing them up to make like a three-sided structure as best we can. It's not super huge and we are a large family of nine. So to fit us all in here is going to be quite a feat. It may or may not happen, but we are going to see, we're gonna see what we can do. We've got our camp chairs and we're gonna see if we can get some branches around the sides here. Check out, we're gonna just use this as our roof, I think, um, because, you know, it's got the leafy greens already there. So I think we might just call that our roof and, you know. So here we are. We have completed our suka as best as we could. We were able to cut down some branches that were in the way anyways that needed to go. We piled them around the edges, as you can see here and we're celebrating today it's fun one of the things that you do for Sukkot is you actually eat food that is stuffed so stuffed food so we did stuffed peppers and we also did some pumpkin stuffed uh, crescent rolls here which were super delicious with some cinnamon and I thought these were really good I kind of found this recipe just online and we'd never tried it before but i thought they turned out well and then for dessert we also did a fun recipe um apple turnovers with some apples that we picked at the apple orchard i will share that next but we um for Sukkot, you know you celebrate those harvest foods so we are that's why we're doing pumpkins and apples and stuffed things and we actually got to go to the apple orchard here where we are living and got to pick the apples straight off the tree. It was a Mountain View organic orchard right up here in Bonners Ferry, literally right across the street from the Canadian border. And this was such a fun thing. Again, something we could not do in Texas and we had a blast getting to pick apples for the first time ever. Some of those are really big, guys. That is so cool. Go. 
I think what surprised us all was how many apples were on each tree. We could not get over how many apples were available and they had so many trees and the people here that are running this are just the absolute nicest couple ever. We got to stay and visit with them for quite some time and it was just such a blessing to meet some other wonderful people and to you know, hear their story of how their um, apple farm has grown over the years and how how they come to, came to um, own it to begin with. Just a neat, neat story. So we were just blown away by how many apples are available. They're all organic. We picked so many apples, but mostly because we had never done this before and we were so excited to have each child get to fill up their very own bucket. I wanna say we had about 60 something pounds of apples. So you know all things apple are happening in our future. Um, apple butter, those apple turnovers, and a few other wonderful, wonderful apple favorites. So we are just enjoying, you know, this fall harvest time. And like I said, this is part of Sukkot, celebrating the harvest, the Feast of Tabernacles. And it's just been so fun. I'm so glad we found a way to celebrate this time of year, the harvest time of year in a wonderful, wonderful family way. If you need some books, you know I have them for Sukkot. Here is a collection of books that I recommend. You can actually find these also on YouTube as read aloud. So if you're looking for some special ones to help you through that season. This time of year, I love doing all the fun pumpkin things. Usually we make pumpkin Play-Doh. Um, we did not do that one this year. This year we hollowed out these pumpkins, cooked the puree. So if you need a um, video on how to do that, I will link that video also below. But after I cooked the puree, I scooped it out and the kids got to play with the leftover pumpkin bowls. We also collected leaves and the leaves, they turned into fun crafts. We looked up some fun um, ideas online and the kids used those ideas to create their own fun crafts. There on the top left, we have a little fall scene. Then on the right, we have a bird. The second one down is the owl and we have a hedgehog and at the very bottom we have a fall wreath. So these were fun fall crafts. Um, pretty, pretty good way to use up your leaves if you're enjoying collecting them. We also got crafty with those pumpkin seeds. So after you puree, get the pumpkin puree out, again the video is below on how to do that. We took the seeds, put glue and paper and paint, and were able to create some fun little seed pictures here with my four-year-old twin. She did some fall leaves and painted on them and did a pumpkin outline with her name. So fun fall crafts, yay! Today we are making wax coated leaves and I am excited about this one. This is brand new. This is kind of like a big girl mama craft and I've never done this before, but I had some beeswax from the farmer's market and I looked up, it said to do a box like this with string so they could hang and dry. So I got my box all set up, cut my beeswax, which is quite a bit harder to cut than you think. And um, we're gonna see if we can make some wax leaves. I've never done this before, but I looked up a video on how to do it. And it said to tie string to the leaf and then tie it there, get your double boiler going with your uh, beeswax. And can I just say the beeswax makes the house smell amazing. So I'm dipping my leaf into the beeswax with my string attached and um, we're gonna pull it out and see if we can get it hung up so it'll dry. This is actually a lot easier than I anticipated. Um, it really, I, I wasn't really sure exactly how it was gonna work or how, how it was gonna, um, you know, how easily the leaf would be to dip, but it really is super, super simple, just like it looks. All right, we're gonna bring it over and hang it, but 
I'm noticing that the wax is actually already dried. Doesn't seem like there's much reason that I need to hang it. So, okay. So I don't think we're gonna use that box at all. It seems like the beeswax dries a lot faster than I thought. I don't know. That was what the other video said that I looked up said to use a box like that, but I don't know. For some reason it's drying super fast. Maybe the steam here maybe is kind of cooling it. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like we need the box really because when I get it over here, it's already dry. So we're just going to continue on. Look at how many we've already done. These are so cool because they, when you put wax on them like this, it makes it so that they don't actually dry out. They keep their color for so many, um, so many months, forever, really. And we're we're gonna keep them. We're gonna hang them up in our window, and just beautiful fall color all of fall instead of having to collect them every couple days or every couple weeks. But look how beautiful they are. They are so gorgeous. Okay, so this craft is actually so simple. My 11 year old is able to do this all by, on her own. Um, so she is helping me out today. Probably my 10 year old could join in as well. It's super simple. I don't, I don't see any problem why kids couldn't do it if you're supervising them and you've kind of showed them what's hot and what's not. So she has had a good time helping me with these leaves and look at how gorgeous they are hanging in our window guys when the sun shines in it's just beautiful so we are loving that so much okay so let's talk superstitions predictions winter um the woolly bear woolly bear caterpillar have you heard of this predicts the winter um so we found one recently and this is the chart woolly bear winter folklore you look at the chart here and you find the which uh, caterpillar matches up with the one you find and that's supposed to predict the winter that you're going to have. So let's take one more look at the caterpillar we found here. And it is um, black more so on both sides and a little dab of brown in the middle. So I'm thinking we're looking at maybe that average or maybe that harsh winter and um, the black color means more harsh and the brown is more light. Um, of course, I have a book to go with that for you guys, Woolly Bear Winter, if you want to have something fun to go along with that and do a fun little little lesson at your own home. Well, this is actually our fourth fall video, so um, if you wanna go back and watch the one about Halloween, why we are not participating and what we're doing instead, or my autumn or fall book choices. I have several links there. Uh, I will link all of these videos below and then I have my fall homeschooling video as well. So go check all of those out. They're all linked below in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Tell me, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite thing about fall. I would love to know and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.